Kavardha is a city and municipality in Kabirdham district in the Indian state of Chhattisgarh. It is the administrative headquarters of Kabirdham district. The area consists of hills with lush green forests. The magnificent palace is located in the Maikal hills. The palace is constructed at an altitude of 945 meters above the sea level. Nestled within the beautiful Maikal hills and lush green forests, the palace belongs to the royals of the former princely states of Kavadha. A beautiful imposing building set in a peaceful little town barely touched by the chaos and pollution of the urban rush. The site is located at a distance of 120 kilometers from Raipur. The chosen site Kavadha Palace is enriched with culture and heritage of the royal era. The palace is known for its glorious history and culture. The palace has two gateways. The west gateway known as the Hathi Darwaja or the elephant gateway was the main entrance to the royal adobe in the earlier times. The east gate was the back entry to the palace but in the present day it is the main gate to the palace hotel. Office building Situated to the right of the present day entrance and facing the northeast direction is the office headquarters of the palace hotel. The Maharani's prayer room that is Kavadha's own temple was incorporated into the official administrative building. The transformation in utility and functioning took place as the hotel needed a full-fledged workstation. To imbibe and protect the belief of faith, the beautiful Tulsi Charaha stands still date bearing the witness of the rich heritage and history of royal family through the decades and is ornamented with double-centered augi arches and intricately beautified parapets and columns, justifying the pride Kavardha glimps in. Rani Mahal Set aside the office building stands the luxurious royal abode of Her Majesty, the Queen, the Raj Rani and the Royal Princess. The extravagant building is now no longer at the Queen's getaway. The year of 1991 saw them shifting to the Raj Mahal and the Rani Mahal got converted into a government school and balco office. The Mahal is worth an awe with its flamboyant structure and feminine charm. The plan has been conjugated with design and thus it has interconnected radial rooms and a majestic dome striking a parallel with the eminent architectural design of Mughal era. Elaborate ornamentation, exquisite parapets and beautified chajas enhance the glory of the Mahal. Though it functions as a building serving both a school and offices, nevertheless its charm hasn't changed a little through the years. The presence of royalty resonates through the architectural composition featuring double-centered augi arches, composite columns, octagonal huge central hall, grand dome with definite skylights, uniformity and elegant beautification of the facades. The vast porch adds to the grandeur of the Rani Mahal and the whole building triggers a sense of awe and shimmering beauty of Kavartha. Raja Mahal the scenic Kavadha Palace gives way to the focal point of its rich heritage name, the Raja Mahal. This handsome property is magnificent and a veritable wonder of colonial architecture. The building was constructed with the best Italian marble, stone and RCC and is absorbed in extravagant lush green landscapes. The fountain with the big front porch adds to the feel of palatial beauty. The majestic Renaissance inspired dome is ornamented with Indian style architectural elements like Amla and Swastik and filigree design. The Mahal houses the royal family and also welcomes visitors into vintage style suites planned symmetrically. The most exquisite point of the Mahal is the Darbar Hall which is surrounded by luxurious palatial decor, marble statues, elaborate chandelier, ancestral oil paintings, composite and beautified columns, royal photographs, vintage furniture and an embracing atmosphere.
the whole darbar hall speaks of convenience luxury elegance comfort of a bygone era the hall has clear storied windows and the rich intricate filigree work surfacing the entire dome thus shining in prosperity the raja mahal also features an office long verandas and corridors the superior royal rooms are a retreat for soulful princely living each suite offers a harmonious blend of modern convenience and worldly charm the dining hall is a vast bright area and is embedded with authentic huge dining tables and royal furnishing offers an experience of excellent cuisine thus the raja mahal blends elegance with an awe striking worth of a rich prosperous era as you walk up the marble stairs and enter the magnificent domed and filled great darbar hall one can just wonder and feel time stand still wrap around verandas endless view of greenery the sound of birds while you have a sip of tea at the veranda the rooms are massive and so are the baths at the maharaja and maharani suites with its own little private veranda the other rooms are just as good done in old style well appointed rooms the royal feast at the dining hall or a barbecue near a bonfire at the garden whatever the reason it's time to get rejuvenated at palace kavartha servants quarter the residence of the royal kavartha assistance is located behind the raj mahal as the proximity ensures the helpers are readily available when required the servant quarters were previously small in size but as the king's need for workers increased the quarters were expanded the previous quarters were made of stone and rcc and later the construction was carried out in bricks the extended areas has lean to roofs covered with asbestos sheets roofing three rooms on both the sides of the servants dormitory simple parapets iconic pillars and segmental arches are the features of the building which shelters the royal assistants goshala when the royal kitchen shifted inside the present day raj mahal during the conversion of the palace hotel the goshala was formed to suffice the royal dairy needs the royal family being particularly environment conscious didn't depend on other sources and thus decided to house their own cattle goshala situated behind the guest house is a brick building with large openings with segmental arches shelters both cows and buffaloes this well ventilated building is an example which shows the ecological friendly front of the kavartha royals the goshala building has a chimney because of the previous existence of the kitchen in the same area We thus have documented the rich treasure of art and ornamentation planning the principles construction technology and its functioning of this magnificent structure of the pre-independence era. The splendid property was built in the 1930s by Maharaja Dharmraj Singh. The construction was completed in 1939. Entering the peaceful and serene Kavartha Palace, one feels that nature hasn't been this close to mankind before. Canopy of lush trees and manicured landscapes around the mahals is a contrast to wonder about. The porches, wide verandas, spacious corridors, intricate pillars and beautiful parapets call for a view to be amused for. Foreign architecture rules the otherwise indianized ornamentation. For example, jali work, amla on the dome, fountains, filigree on the dome, parapets, composite pillars and tulsi chaura. The people and the palace of Kavartha both stand united in one place in terms of generosity, humanity and yet Kavartha's royal backdrop speaks for the potential of the luxury that is unmatchable.